Hi, welcome to the fifth video of time and work series that is brought to you by markbank.com and in this problem it says that A is twice as good a workman as B and together they finish a piece of work in 18 days and what is being asked is in how many days A alone would be able to finish this entire work. So the first thing that we must be able to appreciate is that the ratio of efficiency of A and B is given over here and that is nothing but 2 is to 1. So let us write down the ratio of efficiency that is 2 is to 1 and it also says that A and B together take 18 days to finish the work. So may I say that A and B their one day work will be their one day work will be 1 over 1 over 18th of of total work of total work why because if they together take 18 days to finish the work in a day they will be doing 1 over 18th of the work now we know the ratio of efficiency that is 2 is to 1 we also know that in a day they do 1 over 18th of the work so in this 1 over 18th of the work the contribution of A and B for sure will be in 2 is to 1 ratio what did I say that the say if, if the efficiency ratio of A and B is 2 is to 1 that is if someone who is more efficient will be doing more work someone who is less efficient will be doing less amount of work and the total work for a day is given to us that is 1 over 18th so should I say that A's contribution over here is A's contribution in in one day's work will be how much will be 2 times 2 over 1 plus 2 that is 2 third 2 third of 1 over 18th of work 2 third of this so this comes out as 2 over 3 times 1 over 18 that comes out as 1 job and this is 9 so should we say that this is nothing but 1 over 27th 1 over 27th of work is being done by this is what A is one day work A is one day work so if I say that if A has to finish this total work single handedly how many days he is going to take he is going to take a total of 27 days we combined two methods over here one is efficiency and the second is ratio that is the beauty of this problem we knew what is the efficiency ratio we wrote it that is 2 is to 1 then we found out what is going to be one day's work of A and B together that comes out as 1 over 18th of the total work now in this 1 over 18th of work the contribution of A and B will be 2 is to 1 ratio right and that is how we came to know that or we came to deduce that A's one day work is going to be 1 over 27th of work and hence if you take this 27 in the left hand side it would go in the numerator and we are going to get 
27 days would be required by A to finish the work. I hope you have understood the logic of this problem. I'll see you in some other videos. Till then, bye bye and take care.